It's that time of the month again. Woo! It's favorites time. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna be doing my October favorites. So I'm gonna share with you guys all of the products that I have been loving for the month of October. These are my favorite videos to watch, to film. I just love everything about them. It just brings me back to the old YouTube. A lot of people don't do these anymore and I don't know why. Like I'm like, I wanna know what you're loving so I can go love it as well. Anyways, <laughs> I really don't have a ton of products today. Just know that the products that do make it into my favorites videos, they're it because I'm pretty picky. Even though I try out a ton of new makeup all the time, it takes a lot for me to talk about new products in monthly favorites. So just know that these products are like top tier, like amazing bomb diggity products, holy grails, you need them, you get it. It's crazy to me that it's already gonna be November. I'm like already thinking about my yearly favorites that I'm gonna do. That's probably gonna be like an hour long. So I'm like mentally preparing myself for that video. It's gonna be a good one. But in the meantime, we're gonna just stick to the October favorites. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Of course, don't forget to grab a snack and let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with lip products and then I'm gonna do like the random things. I really only have like two random things in a show that I have been loving that I actually just discovered which is kind of cheating but I love it and it's great let's start off with some lip products so I have like all nudes basically what else is new so first we have the elf and Nabella collab I am obsessed with the lip combo as well as the highlighter which we're gonna get into in just a few but I'm wearing this combo today with a little bit of other stuff over top I'll leave the exact combo down below but this collab is absolutely beautiful I think it is stunning they did such a great job with it so you guys know if you've watched any of my drugstore videos elf liquid lipsticks are like one of my favorite formulas it can be drying if you layer it you only need one layer and you're good to go it can actually be very long wearing for the price I think it's right and then I love the applicator on their liquid lipsticks because it's like pointed and it's flat so it makes it really easy to just really get in there and shape your lips so this color in particular is called Mara nude and it is just like the most perfect like peachy nude it's not too light it's not too dark and I feel like it's very versatile and you could always mix it with different lip liners you know just really make it your own depending on what you're using underneath and over top so I have really been enjoying this and then the lip liner is also really great I'm usually not the biggest fan of all wooden lip pencils because some of them are just so dry and scratchy and they're not creamy but this just glides on it's a really beautiful almost like brown ish color I feel like again it's just very versatile you could really mix this in with any nude and it's gonna look beautiful so really love this combo I think this is stunning they killed it so congrats to Nabella on this collab I think it is absolutely stunning and then I have the Ardell vinyl vixen lip lacquer I can't remember if I talked about this last month I don't think that I did but if I did we're talking about it again because it is amazing this is what I have on over top of that and then as well as another lip gloss I know I'm crazy I love mixing my lip products but this is basically just like a really thick pigmented gloss so it goes on really thick very creamy it's not sticky it's, I mean don't use too much but it's not sticky it's just super pigmented really nice it basically feels like you put a lipstick on and then you have gloss so it's kind of like a two-in-one product which is why I really love it because it looks really beautiful and this color in the shade soft touch is perfect they do have other colors as well but of course I'm so drawn to like nudes but I love it I love the formula it's actually pretty long wearing like you know it's not terrible it's not gonna last through everything but it does last really nice and I like how this fades it doesn't fade really ugly and nasty on the lips this is it for me I love Ardell and some of their lip products for me weren't my favorite but this line is by far the best that I've tried from them so love this and the final lip color that I've been loving this month is from ColourPop. This is the Ultra Matte Lip. By the way, the pictures that I'm inserting are of me wearing these lip colors. So if you're wondering, why are you putting selfies of yourself? That is why. This lip color is the perfect fall lip shade. It's like the perfect amount of like brown and I usually don't really like brown in the way that it looks with my skin tone. I just, I'm not a fan. But this one is so beautiful and unique because it has a little bit of like a sort of like nude undertone which I think is what makes it such a beautiful brown I really love Colourpop's formula I feel like they have stepped it up so much within the past couple of years it's not as drying as it used to be it doesn't crumble it's just so good and again one layer is all you need I feel like with most liquid lipsticks if you tend to layer them they're gonna crumble so don't do that so it's just a really beautiful wearable brown which is what I really like about it I feel like it looks good with minimal makeup or with more dramatic makeup and I don't know if I mentioned it but it's in the shade Fuego and I'm obsessed it's literally fire going back to the Elf and Nabella collab this loose highlighter you guys is everything that you want in a highlighter and more I'm wearing it today on my cheeks and I mean let's just have a moment of silence really quick for it 
it's that good. It's so smooth. It's not chunky. It's not glittery. It glides on. It looks really bomb in pictures and I just can't get enough of it. I usually am not really drawn to loose highlighters just because like press highlighters are so much more easy. Obviously they're less messy, but this is like worth the mess, even though it's not like crazy messy because the packaging is actually like really nice on it, but it's, it's great. I love it for the inner corner. You could actually use this as an eyeshadow all over your lid with a little bit of like bronze in the crease. You could pretty much use it for anything on your body, on your face. Like it is amazing. I feel like they took a lot of time with this because most loose highlighters, I feel like they just kind of look like a big stripe on your face. But this one, it's so buttery and creamy and it just looks very beaming, but not overly dramatic to the point where it's unwearable. So I feel like you could also really tone this down and have it for every single day as well. So very versatile. This is probably my favorite loose highlighter that I've tried to date. At one point it was Wet n Wild, which I do really like, but I feel like this might be a little bit more smooth and creamy than Wet n Wild. So this for me is it. I have two primers that I wanted to mention. So these primers in particular, I really like them whenever I want more of a glow because whenever I'm doing something more matte, if I know that I'm going to be wearing my makeup for, let's say, eight plus hours, I will use my Smashbox Photo Finish Oil and Shine Control Primer, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. Some days I want something a little bit more glowy and more hydrating, and I've been using this combo and I love it. So the Fenty Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. I love everything about this. It not only makes my makeup last, but it is so hydrating. It feels like a gel moisturizer, which is like my favorite thing about it. It's not greasy, so it's perfect underneath makeup. And if you have super dry skin, I think you will love this. I've been using this a lot and I'm pretty generous when I use this, even though you really only need a pump. It feels so good that I tend to use more than that. So I still have a lot of product left. It really is so worth it. I wanted to mention two of, yeah, I have two high-end products in today's video because I know that the Sephora VIB sale is right around the corner. So if you guys want to add this to your carts, to your wish list, maybe for Christmas, I think it's great. So I love Fenty face products. They work really well with my combo skin. And this primer for me is just, it, it really does prolong your makeup, but you still get that really hydrated, glowy finish to your skin. It's not like a Becca backlight priming filter. It's not going to give your skin any sheen or anything like that. It's just really, really plump and voluptuous and it's amazing. So Fenty is where it's at. And then speaking of glow, I have been using just a little bit of the Smashbox primer oil. You really don't need a lot of this. That's why it literally doesn't look like I've been using this, but I use it, girl. Just only use maybe like two, three drops because that's all that you need. So you could actually put this directly onto your face, which I was a little nervous about it at first because I didn't want it to like break me out, obviously, because it's an oil, but it didn't. But my favorite way to actually use this is just directly on the back of my hand, mixing it in with my foundation or on my foundation brush, which I'm going to talk about the one that I've been using. And I love just like the way that it looks and the way that it kind of just melts the product onto my skin. It just makes it go on like peanut butter. Like it really is so nice. I really like the primer oil for more thicker foundations. I mean, sometimes I will use it with like, for example, today I'm wearing the Fenty hydrating foundation, which I love. I like mixing it just because again, it just goes on super creamy, but I think this is really good. Maybe if you have dry skin and you want to try out something that is a little bit more on the natural matte side, like the new Smashbox full coverage foundation. That one for me, it's a little bit of a thicker foundation. So I like to mix this in with it just because I feel like it goes on better and it looks better overall on the skin. So if you have something that's a little bit more thick. Smashbox primer oil is perfect. I've tried a couple primer oils and I don't really like all of them to be honest. Some of them are a little too heavy, like too much on the skin, but this one is just right. It's perfect. I wanted to shout out this Profusion Contour One Contour Makeup Case. This is incredible. I really love this contour shades for like contouring my face or down the bridge of my nose because they are like the perfect amount of like ashy cool tones, not too like gray on the skin and not too warm. So they're really nice. You guys know my love for Profusion. Like I love everything about Profusion. They really give you great quality products at a great price. I believe all of their products are under 12 to $10. Like nothing goes over 20 for sure. And it's just such a great brand. So you can get this specifically, I believe at Target, some Walmarts, of course, online, you kind of have to be on the hunt for Profusion. Cause I know for me, not every Target and Walmart sells perfusion, but this is amazing. So I really like how buttery these are too. They're very nice on the skin. They're not like muddy. And also the highlighters in here are incredible, like so buttery, 
so nice. So if you want kind of like an all-in-one palette, I think this is great. I also really like this light shade right in here, which is called Cream Light, to clean up the contour. I'll take a small little brush just to like clean up the lower part of my face, and it's great. It's amazing, and it's a really nice palette. This little brush that comes with it, at first I was like, this is so gimmicky, like it doesn't work, but this is actually really nice for getting right down the bridge of the nose. Like it's a little flimsy, it's cheap obviously, but like it's not bad, especially the fact that it comes in here, I think it's nice. So don't throw it out because it's actually pretty decent. So yeah, this palette, I have been using it a ton whenever I want a little bit more of a chiseled look. And then I wanted to shout out some lashes that I have been loving. So I've pretty much been using these like nonstop, like I'll go back and forth. Today, ironically, I'm using different lashes. I'm wearing the, I'll show you what they look like, the Salon Perfect 662 lashes just because I just started using these this week and I really like the way that they look with this specific kind of makeup look, like the smoke out, smudged out look. Those are great as well, but these are like my ride or dies. Like I have been basically just nonstop. These are these, like just going back and forth. So the first one are the ColourPop Faux Lashes. These are in the style Mommy. I love these specifically with winged liner, like just no eyeshadow, black matte winged liner, and these lashes. I'll insert pictures again of me also wearing these. They look so good. They are like the perfect amount of length and like wispiness and fluffiness and they're super easy to apply. They're just such pretty lashes. I know that they have some other more natural ones, but these are my favorite because they are a little bit more dramatic, but they're not like excessive. You can definitely get away with wearing them, at least for me, on an everyday basis and they're not too much. And then the e.l.f. Faux Mink Lashes in the style Drama Queen. These lashes I really like on my more minimal makeup days whenever I don't really have much eyeshadow going on. I'll just do maybe a little bit of bronzer in the crease put these on oh and they are amazing they're not really long so I feel like they could work for people who wear glasses because they're not like excessive they're not gonna touch your eyebrows or anything they're just so pretty I cannot get enough of them this past month I went on Colourpop and Elf's website and I ordered a bunch of packs of each because that's how in love with them I am whenever I love something I go hard now I'm gonna get into two random things oh wait almost forgot to mention a brush so that I've been loving hold on wait a minute almost forgot about this this amazing brush right here. This is the Flower Beauty. It doesn't have a name on it, but I think it's the powder brush or foundation brush. So usually I don't use brushes like this for foundation, but I started using this honestly because sometimes when I get into my makeup mode, I don't wanna get up to wet my beauty sponge. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just use this brush. And I loved the way that it looked. It really packs on the foundation. It gives you great coverage. It doesn't absorb much of your product. And it just looks so good when you pack it on. You could really use this for foundation or for powder. I like it for foundation more specifically just because I like the way it looks and the way it buffs in all of my products. It's just a great brush. And I love these Flower Beauty brushes, you guys know. So I've been using this one and the blush brush in particularly for highlight. And I think it's great. So the brushes are really great quality. I have no issues with them. Shedding. They are a little bit more on the pricey side, you know, for one brush, it's like 10 to $12, but I do think it is worth it because the quality for me is definitely there. So I really like it. And Walmart, you can get Fire Beauty and it's great. So definitely recommend this if you're looking for a good foundation brush. Since we're on the topic of a brush, I figured I would also throw this brush in here that I've been using a ton. I also, I have really bad memories sometimes, like certain things I remember, certain things I don't. I don't remember if I talked about this in my last month's favorite, but this is such a good blending brush. This is the e.l.f. Fluffy Eye Blender brush and it's exactly what it says it is. It's great for just buffing colors in your crease, adding a nice transition color, blending out harsh edges in your crease. I mean, it's just a really great great brush. I believe they do sell this just singly on their website. I haven't seen it in person, like in stores. I actually bought two packs of this brush because it comes with three other brushes, but I specifically bought the pack for this brush in particular, and I have no regrets. I feel like I would definitely pay like $12 for this brush because it's just that good of a quality, and I've used e.l.f. brushes for years on my channel and just in general, and they're such great quality. I mean, even their super like cheap brushes, like their two, three dollar brushes have lasted me such a long time time with no shedding, no issues. So this one in particular, I think it's great. You can never have enough blending brushes as a makeup artist, like if you're a makeup artist or just as a makeup lover in general. Blending brushes, I think are the things where you can have like 10 of them and it's gonna be okay. So it's just a really great brush. I love it so much. I use it almost every single time I do my makeup and 
cannot live without it. So yeah, this is this is great. Okay, now we can get into some randomness. I only have two random things to talk about and then a show, so very simple. First, I have this Love Beauty and Planet Coconut Water and Mimosa Flower Luscious Hydration Body Lotion. I've actually used this brand before. They have like shampoos and conditioners and I really enjoy them. I believe they even have cleaning products now, which is like really amazing because I'm a clean freak, so I'm gonna be getting those soon. But I saw this at Walmart and I was super intrigued because I love this brand already. I love the fact that this is just all like natural. It's vegan. There's no dyes, no parabens, and it's made from 100% recycled plastic, which is nice. They have some other scents, but this one stood out to me the most because it is more of like a floral scent. It's not overpowering though, but it makes my skin so soft and it just feels really nice, but it's not a greasy, nasty moisturizer. I really specifically like this also for my feet and my elbows. They tend to get the driest on my body and my stomach as well, and I just like how quickly it absorbs, but it still leaves that moisture into your skin. So my skin's doing really well lately. That's why I like to use stuff like this. Whenever I'm having like a really bad eczema flare up, I won't use things like this. I like to just kind of stick to like unscented things. But lately it's been doing well. So I've been using this pretty much every time I get out of the shower and I have been loving it. And then we have a pillow to talk about. I know, random. This is my lull pillow. So good, I have a pillowcase on it from TJ Maxx. But I wanted to talk about this pillow because I feel like my sleep is so much better whenever I'm sleeping on this pillow versus my other pillow that I got from TJ Maxx, which was like $7. I switched over to it this month and I know that for sure it's this pillow because nights ago I couldn't sleep. I was literally up all night tossing and turning. It was just one of those nights. And then I realized I was sleeping on a different pillow. And the minute I switched to this, I was able to fall asleep. I don't know, maybe it's just like a a mental thing. I, I don't know. So I ended up falling asleep really fast and then these past couple of nights my sleep has been amazing. Like sleeping through the whole night I feel so rested and I really think it's because of this pillow. Like it feels like a hotel style pillow. I know it sounds like so silly like it's just a pillow but a pillow is important for when you're sleeping and I love Lull. I actually have their mattress. I have their pillows and it really does feel like you are staying at a hotel when you're sleeping on it. So the quality of sleep and like the comfort is there for me. It's just a very squishy soft pillow. It feels like a cloud and I'm a big fan. So if you are looking for a pillow or a new mattress, definitely check them out. This video is not sponsored. I have worked with them in the past, but I genuinely love this brand. I think it's amazing. And if you are looking for pillows, which I know it doesn't seem like a big thing, but Christmas is coming up. And I think, I mean, who doesn't love pillows and blankets? Like as an adult, that's like my favorite thing to get. Yeah, this is it. Like, look at how squishy this is. Like I cannot get enough of it. It is such high quality. There was a point where I wouldn't use this pillow to sleep. I was kind of using it like sometimes I hug pillows when I'm sleeping or sometimes I put them in between my legs or I'll put them like behind another pillow. But when I switch to just sleeping on this pillow in particular, change my sleep, change my life. It's great. So lull for the win. The last and final thing I want to talk about is a show that I just got hooked on literally last week, but I... I love it. So it is called Rhythm and Flow. I guess it's kind of similar to American Idol, but the rap version of it. I'm usually not a big fan of shows like American Idol and stuff like that, but I saw Hector watching this and I started watching like the last two episodes with him last week and I was hooked. I was like, oh my gosh, why'd you watch this without me? So yesterday we started kind of watching it from the beginning. He's watching it again, but he really enjoys it. So he's like, I'm willing to rewatch it with you. It's so good. I personally really like rap music. I like all genres of music to be honest except don't hate me but I don't like country music and like heavy metal those are like the two that I just just not for me but every other music I can deal with. Yeah, obviously no offense if you like country music. It's just really interesting hearing different raps and the different stories behind each rapper and the people who are on the show. I just, I really enjoy it and I think it's great if you're looking for something sort of, I guess, like American Idol, but the rap version of it, definitely check it out. It's on Netflix and I have been enjoying it. So yeah, so that is it. I told you guys, I didn't really have a ton of things to share with you, but I mean, you know, the things that I do have are great. I always feel like it's better to have have like let's say 10 really really great products instead of like 30 like products that you like but maybe you're not like obsessed with like I don't like to just throw products at you guys just to make a favorites video like I really genuinely even if it's just like a couple of things I like to share them with you that way you know what I'm loving and you can test them out as well without like overwhelming you with products every single month hopefully you feel that way too but yeah thank you so much for watching hopefully you did enjoy it please leave me your favorites down below because you guys have the best recommendations and you guys know me so a lot of the times your favorites tend to be my favorites so let me know thank you so much for everything I really appreciate you guys and I will see you 
in a few days in my next one. Bye.